Hello guys, welcome back to YouTube channel of Canard Aviation. I am Captain Yes. Today we are going to look how to convert the foreign license into Indian one. If you have your foreign license, how can you convert your foreign license to the one that is issued by DGCA? Conversion of foreign license. Conversion of professional pilot's license issued in ICAO contracting states into Indian professional pilot's license that is commercial pilot license. So let's get into details of this. Mandatory documents from the foreign, from the country you are flying. What are the documents you will be requiring the most and those are the compulsory documents. Over here, first is your valid professional pilot license with verification letter from the issuing state. Issuing state over here is the country, country from where you have done your flying. Next is valid foreign class 1 medical assessment from the state of issue, again from the state or the country from where you have completed your flight training. Third is authenticated log book of a period of at least 5 years, previous 5 years which must include information regarding dates, aircraft types, whether it was single multi and registration, crew status, PIC, co-pilot etc, total time, sectors, departure arrival times, day and nights, cross country flights, cross country tests with number of landings, skill tests, day, night, IR with number of landings, instrument type, actual and simulated, Simulator flying separate log. It should be logged separately. All the entries must be verified by the appropriate authority in the state of issue of foreign license. It should be verified by the state of issue. Whichever country is issuing you the license, it should be verified from them. Test must be signed by the examiners as well. Your check rights, which you would be giving in the foreign should have signed by your examiners fourth point is valid certificates of skill tests for single as well as multi engine if multi aircraft rating is to be desired note over here you want to note this point the test shall be on the type of aircraft which are also available and registered in india and the test shall be on performa as laid down in India, duly authenticated by the instructor designated representative of state regulatory authority. The aircraft you want to do your flight training in from your flight school from the foreign countries, you want to make sure those are available in India for your future checks. So next, next thing is statement of 20 hours cross country. 50 hours if IR is also required. IR is if you require your instrument then cross country hours would be 50 hours of cross country. Sixth point is cross country check reports. Total 3. There are 3. First is 300 nautical mile with 2 full stop landings. Second is 250 nautical mile with 1 full stop landing. And third is 120 nautical mile by night while returning to the point of departure without landing. Make sure you have this particular three requirements cross country check reports. You must have this document in the list of mandatory documents you are going to submit to the DGCA. Five hours of night flying as a PIC with certificate of 10 numbers of takeoffs and 10 numbers of landings. You will be needing 5 hours of night with 10 takeoffs and landings. For IR issue, to endorse your instrument rating on your license, instrument time total should be 40 hours. Actual on aircraft can be 20 or more plus simulated 20 or less. More should be on aircraft and it can be less on simulator and at least 5 hours instrument time on actual aircraft in preceding 6 months for IR issue. The last point over here is for multi endorsement. If you want to endorse your multi rating on your CPL, 
रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ग्राउंड ट्रेनिंग एंड पास रिजल्ट ऑफ टेक्निकल एग्जाम स्टेटमेंट इंडिकेटिंग एटलीस्ट टेन आवर्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग ऑन मल्टी इंजिन एयरक्राफ्ट फॉर विच एंडोर्समेंट इज रिक्वेस्टेड इंक्लूडिंग टेस्ट चेक एंड विद इन सिक्स मंथ जनरल फ्लाइंग टेस्ट बाई डे विद थ्री सोलो टेक ऑफ एंड लैंडिंग ईच जनरल फ्लाइंग टेस्ट बाई नाइट विद थ्री टेक ऑफ एंड लैंडिंग ईच एंड फॉर इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑन मल्टी you will be requiring your ir test report with two approaches on aircraft for which multi endorsement on license is requested so basically there are three main requirements for multi endorsement that is within preceding 6 months you must have general flying test by day with three solo take offs and landing general flying test by night with three take off and landings and if you are going to uh, endorse a multi with ir then you need to have your ir test report ir check with two approaches on the particular aircraft so next this is the requirements you would need to do in india before submitting documents you are required to do a general flying test report by day by night and instrument rating test if ir is desired required or want to endorse your ir on your cpl from an approved flight training institute in india if not carried out in a flight training institute approved by the regulatory authority of the icao contracting state within the preceding 6 months of the date of application in dgca before applying to dgca in your preceding 6 months you must have this requirement signal reception test report by an approved flight training institute in india if not carried out in a flying school approved by regulatory authority of the icao contracting state you must carry out your signal reception test report in your previous flight school if not you will have to come to india and you will have to complete your signal reception test over here third point is pass results of air regulation and composite papers covering mat plus nav in dgca within preceding 30 months from the date of application that is 2.5 years and here composite paper composite paper is like if before completing your flight training you have given paper then what you will have to do is you will have to give navigation meteorology regulation all paper separate but once you have completed your flight training from foreign nation what you will have to do is you'll have to give a paper of composite composite paper is combination of mat and navigation there would be 100 questions combined question would be there from meteorology and navigation so uh, fourth point is you will need your indian class on medical assessment medical are compulsory indian rtra radio telephony license if flight radio telephony operators license is not issued earlier if it is not issued earlier you will be requiring a radio telephony license as well Sixth point is obtains verification certificate from the school board examination of tenth and twelfth. You will be requiring your tenth and twelfth verification as well. And at last, the seventh point over here, you will need to understand this: the fees of rupees five thousand for each issue, and rupees five thousand for each aircraft endorsement or aircraft rating. So uh, over here. let's say if you are getting your cpl for cpl you will have to pay 5000 if you are going to endorse your instrument rating on your cpl it would be 5000 if you are going to endorse a multi on that then that would be 5000 so total you will have to pay 15 so that is how you will have to pay the fees for each issue for each aircraft endorsement and rating it has to be submitted in the form of bank draft payable to poa dgca ministry of civil aviation new delhi it should be under this name that was the charge i explained how you will have to 
pay the fees for this those are the basic uh, requirements you will have to do in india and over here this is the basically the flow chart and i have explained it to you in this entire video this is the flow chart of it we'll put this link in our description box below you can go ahead and download the entire pdf over there so that was the entire video about the conversion of a foreign license let us know if you have any doubt related to conversion we are here to help here is our contact details here is our email id our application is also available on play store and app store you can go ahead and download it please do like share and subscribe to our video let's fly high